one ever wants to go to jail, but I did. I wanted to show you what it was like being handcuffed, searched, locked in a holding cell for hours, and introduce you to some of the people I met while I was there. In tonight's Jaquetta's close-ups, I'm taking you inside the Gwinnett County Jail. Being walked into the Gwinnett County Jail like someone accused of committing a crime is something I'll never forget. Is there anything on you that I should know about? Have you ever been here before? No. You may never experience this, but there are a lot of people who have. I need you to separate your feet for me. Take your socks off, turn them inside out. Next stop the medical checkup. You're not taking any medications for anything? No. Now I head to the right side where women are housed and booked in, then placed in a holding cell. Your armband, we need to know who every individual is that we bring into this facility. It's back to the holding cell where other women join me who say this is the worst part. It's overcrowded in the holding cells and join the other time. Meet 50-year-old Deborah. It was more touchy today when I was being searched by the female officer that before. 22 year old Michelle has been here in a holding cell for two days. She says for stealing at her job. I feel degraded. I feel like a criminal. And I mean, I just, I kind of feel like a locked up dog. Now meet Claudia. I was going to a job interview this morning and they pulled our background history just to double check and they said, You're wanted. Life doesn't end because you had to come through that door. They got to remember that, that they can still. Turn things around. I leave the holding cell to the next phase, dressing into the prison issued attire. Okay, Miss Williams, I'm gonna give you um, a plastic bag, a pair of shower shoes that you're gonna you're gonna put your clothes inside here. Squeeze all the air out, tie it in a knot. You're gonna give it to me. Then I'm gonna give you a Gwinnett County issued jumpsuit. Now that I'm wearing the Gwinnett County Jail uniform, I'm walked down the hall to where I will sleep for the night. It's a long walk carrying my jail issued items inside. I step on there and stand up to that wall right there and face the wall. And now to the L block. Hand to the wall, ma'am. Ma'am, ma please follow my instructions. Sorry. Lift your feet up, please. Okay. My home for the night ahead. Uh, and wait till you see the rest of the story. Well, tomorrow, we'll introduce you to the women on cell block L. You'll hear some of their stories about why they're there. Plus, I'll show you what it was like for me as well. One of the things I want to tell you, too, is that when they issue your jumpsuit and your issued undergarments, bra and underwear, they're not all new. Oh, they're, you can't wear your own. No, you cannot. They're washed. And then you you were issued some, so maybe somebody else had them before you. But oh, mm -hmm. that's interesting. It is very interesting. But you will be surprised to hear some of the stories that you're going to hear tomorrow from some of the inmates, why they're there, some of the charges that are right. against them, anything from a traffic ticket to murder. You and can, I was asking you while I was watching this, did you really stay the night? And you did. I really did. And yeah. I asked if you slept. Maybe just a little bit. One minute. One minute. <laughs> one minute of sleep. Only.